to most of you, a cell phone is just a device. Something that you can buy on Craigslist, sell on eBay, or stay at the at t store at midnight to get the newest iPhone. But, in fact, a cell phone could be more than that. A cell phone can save your life. A cell phone can save more lives than penicillin itself. To most adults, cell phones are the biggest distractors of the teenagers of today. But Nancy Wolpin thinks otherwise. She works at DoSomething.org. They take data of cell phone text messages, emails. So they decided to start a research project and maybe change lives with texting. The Text That Saved a Life by Nancy Wolpin. 3,339 text messages. That's the average number of text messages that the average teenager sends in one month. But for the teenage girl, it's probably closer to 4,000. Now I know all you parents think that your teens stay on their phones 24-7. But the good thing about cell phones and text messages is that text messages have a 100% open rate. If you text your daughter and ask her when she's going to be home for supper and she doesn't reply, she sure as heck opened it. And parents, if you text your sons about when they're going to be done for football practice and he doesn't reply, he definitely opened it. See, text messages have a 100% open rate. Now we here at DoSomething.org send inspirational messages to one school in California. We started doing this process about a month ago. See, we would send emails about going green in their schools or pursuing their arts. We sent these emails just merely as an inspirational act of kindness. But then we thought, why don't we send text messages instead? After all, like I said, they have a 100% open rate. So we changed our plan and started sending these inspirational messages in text form. And the results were shocking. See, we actually started getting text messages back. It was a desperate cry for help what we were getting. We didn't even realize what we had started. We got replies like, the boys at school call me faggot. I can't walk through the halls without being made fun of. And another one, a girl in Idaho, she said, I can't stop. I can't stop cutting myself. My parents found out, so I had to stop. But I just started back again help? And then, the most shocking one of all, exactly 32 miles from our headquarters at DoSomething.org, she said, he won't stop. He won't stop raping me. He told me I couldn't tell anyone. It's my father. Are you there? Are you there? We here at DoSomething.org created a text hotline for teens, and we didn't even know it. It merely started as inspirational text messages about petty things, like going green in their school and pursuing the arts. Why do we have to worry about those things when there's teens out there who need help? We got many text messages back like those. Those are just the three first ones we received at DoSomething.org. Parents, would you like to know if your son was being bullied? If he can't even feel safe at school where he should feel safe? And parents, mothers, fathers, wouldn't you want to know if your daughter's father was raping her? How can you expect her to tell anyone that? To talk about anything like that? She's supposed to feel safe at home with her father. But she didn't. But she sent us a text message. And now, that girl's getting the help she needs. She's in a safer place. That's where she should feel most safe, at home, with her father. But she didn't. And what cured that? A text message. See, parents, most of you think texting is an awful thing. It takes away your students' priorities. 
makes them irresponsible. But in reality, it's what they feel most comfortable with. You know, researchers are calling this age the technology age. It's all they know. Communication skills are down, sure. But if we can't help that, why don't we work with what we already have? See, texting is quick, it's private, and efficient. The girl who's getting raped, she couldn't call up someone and tell her that her dad was raping her. Just... We're the video. I was just gonna say hey. Oh, right. Did you stop it? See? What did I play last? Crap. I don't even remember. Just stop it.